When it comes to smart home lighting, you have your pick of the litter. But when you're looking for decorative lighting solutions, Lifix is amongst the most popular. This is the Lifix Tile, a set of decorative smart home LED panels that have some jaw-dropping scenes. So what's in the box? In the box, it's pretty simple. There's your five tiles, your charger, as well as the power plugs, and some instruction manuals. The dimensions of the Lifex tiles, each tile is 7 inches wide by 7 inches tall and 1 inch thick. Each tile also has 64 zones of LEDs which can change up to 16 million different colors, giving it amazing flexibility in the different scenes that you can select. To get the Lifex tiles running, what you need to do is connect them together with the supplied cables. But first, you must connect the tile with the green dot to the power supply. This is the first tile that you need to set up as it is the master tile. You can stick them to the wall with the supplied 3M sticky tape. However, I prefer to just stand them up on my bookshelf and stick them together. I've had the Lifex tiles now for about a month. And what do I love about these tiles? Well, what I love is the LED designs. The advantage of the Lifex tiles that it has over its competitors is the 64 zones of LEDs in each panel. This gives enormous flexibility for the panels to have breathtaking scenes. The one you're seeing right now on screen is Morph, which is my favorite. The second thing that I love about the Lifex tiles is the brightness. The tiles are really bright. All five tiles together can go over 2000 lumens, which is blinding if you put it up to 100% brightness. I normally have my tiles set to 30% brightness, and this is a nice balance to my computer room. But it is nice to know that you can light it up the entire room if you felt like it. The last thing that I like about the Lifex tiles is going to be a little more controversial, and that is the cable solutions. Now the cable solution is more flexible so that you can arrange the tiles in any layout that you like. However, on the other end, it is more difficult to hide the cables from view when you don't want them to be seen. Now let's talk about what I didn't love about the Lifex tiles. The first thing that I didn't love about the Lifex tile is the setup process. It's definitely hit or miss. I bought two separate boxes of Lifex tiles and let me tell you from experience, the first tile that you plug in absolutely must be the master tile. The master tile does have the green dot in the back. If you set it up correctly the first time with the master tile being the first one you plug in to the power supply, the setup process is relatively straightforward. If you don't do this, then you run the risk of having to do a factory reset for every single tile one at a time, and this is a very time consuming process. The second thing that I don't love about the Lifex tiles is the weight. The tiles are about 600 grams per tile. Put all three of them together and it's about three pounds. This can be a little bit cumbersome when you're trying to set them up as well as trying to create a design if you're going to put them on the wall. The next thing that I have an issue with is the scheduling and automatic startup of the Lifex tiles. If you're like me and you like to set up a schedule of when the tiles turn themselves on and off, you're going to be slightly disappointed. Currently, the software only allows you to start up the tiles in one single color. You can only program a color, meaning that you cannot program any scenes. So, if you're looking at the screen right now, I can't turn on the Lifex tiles into the morph scene. It must turn on in uh, one color, which is currently white. From there, you can double tap or use the touch to actually set the scene. The last dislike of the Lifex tiles here is that you can only connect five tiles to one scene. This was a huge letdown for me. I liked the first five tiles so much that I decided to buy another five tiles to create a bigger scene. Um, unfortunately, this is a software limitation. You can only have five tiles connected to one scene. Believe me, I've tried multiple iterations, I've tried different things, I tried setting, uh, doing a factory reset for all the tiles and connecting the master, etc, etc. None of them worked. Once I started reading online more, it looks like Lifex has uh, plans in the future to connect 10 tiles together. However, that's not something that you can do right now. This is a big letdown because Lifex, you could have had more money from me if this feature was available. 
Now, if you compare this to Nanoleaf Canvas, Nanoleaf is only limited by the power supply. If you want more tiles, you just add more power supplies and you can have a larger scene with more tiles. So my final thoughts here, is it worth it? If you can get through the cumbersome setup process and accept the current shortcomings of the LiFix tiles, this is a beautiful, albeit limited accent lighting system. LiFix, if you're listening, please do a software or firmware update that would allow more than five tiles to be connected because this is just going to open up even greater possibilities for what can be done with the current system. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave a comment in the comments section below. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.